So if you don't believe in God, you're three times the risk of depression. And well, it could well, be God in different ways. Yeah, something transcendent. Or- yes. If you believe you're here by, if, just think about it with me. If you believe you're just here by random chance, that life really was not created and has no meaning, there's existential nothingness to that as opposed to, oh, no, I'm created in a special way to do something purposeful on Earth. There's purposeful people live longer, they're happier. Now, whatever version you believe, to not believe is hard for the brain. And there's an interesting study on believers versus non-believers. And, you know, many scientists would go, well, they'll have smaller brains if they're a believer. They actually had bigger temporal lobes. And temporal lobes underneath your temples and behind your eyes, right here, um, that's where it's called the God area because of that's where people think. They experience and, them. And if you have a seizure in the temporal lobe, you, you have transcendent experiences like you're, uh, uh, you know, in the presence of God. And they think maybe the Apostle Paul on the road to Damascus had a seizure and saw God. There's actually a, a researcher in Canada, uh, Laurentian University, Michael Persinger. So he would stimulate the outside he, he would do it all over the brain, but what he found, he stimulated the outside of the right temporal lobe, that people would get a sensed presence. They would actually feel the presence of God in the room. So does that mean the brain makes up God, or does that mean there's a way for God to communicate with us? I actually did a study on prayer. 